Hello everybody and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays Oriental Empires. We left off last episode with an issue. We have a substantial amount of enemy archers marching on our territory, but we do have some units here. Uh, and what we're going to want to probably do is make sure they're set to charge. Because fuck, those are enemy archers, which means we need to engage them in melee. ASAP, we got... Well, this is our current leader, actually, not just my heir, heading back to Shangzhou uh, to... To Chang Changzhou, that's what I'm going with. To uh, uh, assist, we've got some. Ooh. Oh God damn it! You know what? I forgot that when you click on a unit, they immediately are recruited. So we got more units coming down to help. So let's see what happens. Ooh, tech warning. On craft. So what else we got here? Increased chance of a melee attack hit. High tin bronze. Shipbuilding. A boatyard. You know what? That might be a, a good trade good. Pottery workshop? Thinking, yeah. Oh, I'm, uh, that, they make me nervous. How many turns left until we finish our gold mine? Well, we got a lot of people working on the farm still. The roads have been completed, correct? I mean, as complete as they're going to get. Unnavigatable river. Ten more turns. Ugh. Forever. All right, what's happening here? What are they doing? All right, they're, they're they. Oh, are they attacking? What's happening here? These guys. Oh, these guys are engaged. Oh shit! I didn't even consider that. Fuck. Charge! That's my damn leader. Whoa, I didn't even think about that. And for some reason on this battle, the frame rate's like dying. Peasant light. I mean, they're just archers. They can't possibly be that good in melee. There's a, a butt ton of them. But okay, one's already one's already routed. Two are routed. Yeah, getting them in melee definitely seems to be the uh, the correct thing to do with these guys. Go get them! Charge! Maybe? Oh, okay, they left. Oh, we're chasing them around. What the hell's going on? What the fuck is going on with this battle? Did I lose? <laughs> did, they, did they take the field? I have no idea what happened in that battle. Everybody just started, like, Benny Hilling all over the place. All right, so indecisive. I lost 10 men. They lost 137. So I'm going to go out on a limb and say I got the upper hand on that one. So, you go there and just have, you know, I don't I don't think there's anything wrong with just closing the gap the, the gap. You're going to head there. Oh, you you know what? They you were set to flank. That's why. And we got two here, so I'm gonna take one of them out and say, fucking charge the enemy. And we'll see what happens. I got, I got, I'm approaching from three directions here. Tech warning! Tech, tech. I think I just did this one. Oracle Bones. Is that the one? No, I did the Priest Doodle. Alright, we're gonna take care of the National Myth. I haven't seen any floods yet, which is probably a good thing. Pillage my lands, will you? So it definitely looks like we're gonna they're gonna get hit from multiple directions, but not all at the same time. Oh, there's the archers uh, hitting my. Those are nobles, I think, with my with my leader. Yo, engage them! They're shooting me. Go get them, bitch! What are you waiting for? You're literally set to charge. Oh, there we go. New disease. That's that's none of my business. Battle report. Crushing victory. Well, yeah, you only had archers. Okay. So, 
I have an army. I don't know if I can reach this one. Can I reach that one? New. No. Sadly, new. No. Still eight turns to go. Still growing, though. That's good. Repair looted farms. That's this one, right? That's roads. That's other. I think it just means rebuild. Alright, so I can't... I don't think I can recoup any... Any losses here for these guys, so I think they would need to retire to the capital to do it. But I think it's safe to do that. I'm just glad we have money again. And as much as I'd like to build that other gold mine, it doesn't... I, I think saving up for the copper mine is a better idea because right now... I mean, we're, we're still, what, seven turns away from completing it? So if we add in another one, it's just going to, you know, increase the, the shit that this place, that, that um, Changzhou needs to build. And it's going to take a while. But if we just come up here, wait another turn, come up here, build a copper mine, we're good to go. Have we completed? I don't think we've completed any irrigated farms yet. Yeah, it's, that's, that's a big queue of stuff to do. 1500 but it's got a good income 50 plus trade goods so those guys should recoup losses because there are spares waiting in like the barracks and killing all those uh I don't even know the name of my enemy Jews Felt good. My dog just got excited because I think she uh, she thought I was talking about her because she <laughs> um she really likes uh like these little rawhide chews we give her. So like whenever whenever we go to bed, she always likes to get a chew before before bedtime, like a little nightcap for the dog. So when she she hops up on the bed, I'll go, "Hey, Betty, go get a chew." And then I just said "chew" really loud. So I think she was like, yeah, I should go get a chew. What is this? Zero buildings of four max allowed. This settlement may be upgraded to a larger... That's a thing? How do I do that? Oh! Oh! This palace isn't just a palace for the lord and his household to live, but also serves as an administrative center for the settlement, running an organization that allows further development. Well, that's interesting, but I think what we're going to do, we're going to hold off on that for just a, just a hot sec, no, not a hot second, for five turns, five turns. We're going to hang out, hang out uh, for five turns, because I got to get this going. I, I keep saying I'm going to build that. We're going to build it. We're actually going to do it this time. Oh, acupuncture. Okay, that's good. Knowledge. I think horse riding is on the list of things to do now. Officially. Five more turns for that. Did I say 12? Wasn't it supposed to be six? Hmm. I wonder. So we need a thousand to upgrade that settlement, which is definitely something we can do. I wonder if that'll bump bump out its uh, like area of influence. I'd, I'd I'd like that. Or maybe it would be able to like trade further with cities further away. That'd be cool. Forty one. Now this one's blinking. Hostile army. This is in the settlement's territory. 
Oh, it's these guys passing through. Okay, I'm gonna let them pass through. Let's say same thing. So, I'm just gonna let them go. Not, not really, not really my issue. All right, this is go went up to nine. That's good. We're doing the irrigated farms. Is there a physical difference on the map? Because this one is an irrigated farm, but it does. It, so it's three food instead of two food. So this one should be six food because it's wild game plus farm. One percent, zero percent, but that's okay. I'm not too concerned about that. Oh, it, it hasn't upgraded yet. But getting the you know, well, we are building more farms, so that'll help. Just don't loot my shit. I, I'm cool with you moving through my land. That's not a big deal. Don't loot my farms. That ain't cool. No, sir. All right, what do we do? Now it's at six. I'm really curious as to how these change. Because it said it was supposed to be six, then jumped up to 12. Let's hack back again, it was six. How's my tech looking? That's the pottery thing. How's trade in Fengjing right now? Oh, you know what? That army. Are they good? Yep. They're moving down here. Now that they're good to go, moving down south to the battlefront. I might actually march them into enemy territory just to see what happens. AK, kill some chews. Who's fighting where? God, another city would be nice, wouldn't it? But, yeah, I, I said I was going to upgrade the city. Going to upgrade the city. Pottery Workshop? I'm assuming that's a building. No? Oh, it is. Ceramics for trade. Still haven't built and Ooh. I keep saying... I, I got to stick to my word. Stick to your word, Ben. Stick to your word. We almost got that da damn mine finished. Thankfully. Uh, ceramic roof tiles. Reduces siege damage from fire. Earthquake. Earthquake. Reduce civilian death by 76%. 76%. Major earthquake. Major, okay, so helps with fire and earthquakes. Down here, it's increased chance of melee hit. Uh, well, yeah, let's do the roof tiles. I haven't had an like I haven't had disease yet. I haven't had an earthquake yet, but might as well prepare for the for the worst. Just in case, I don't want people. I don't want like to upgrade one of my cities and then having everybody die because an earthquake ravaged the land. Now that's my biggest city. So we got the we got the the thousand gold pit. And the wooden palace I just finished. Wow, it took that long? Cool. So, 40 from the gold pit. Finally got that up and running. Uh, so, here we're going to build the palace. Build it. If you build it, they will come. That should only take a couple turns. Uh, let's go up here and take a look at this mine again. Four turns. Did this go? I thought that was 30. No, it was 34. So I think it did go up. We're increasing size again here. Gold mine. Oh, we can upgrade it? I didn't know that was a thing. Okay, cool. That's probably, you know what? I, I do remember that, those, you know, text coming up along those lines, though. So it looks like I can do irrigated for you. Just convert farmland to irrigated farms. No, no hassle. Well, let's go ahead and build that. Still working on all that stuff. This is a thousand, but uh, I don't think we could trade over here because they're not connected. I guess we'll see what happens. I'm just glad I ca I've got a standing military now. I've got palisades built in my cities, and I've got a military that can actually crush my foe. I mean, I f definitely feel like I should return the favor and burn one of their cities to the ground. And here, we've got a couple more turns until that's finished. Two more turns. Three more turns. Nice. 
Growth rate here is zero, but we are building the irrigated farms like all over the place. Farming. Good. And then I think I should maybe start building up some of the buildings that inside like my capital maybe that increase the trade goods like the pottery workshop. Uh, the armor, which I believe will produce bronze for trade as well. That might be a good thing. Uh, two birds with one stone. New leader. Oh. With no leader of any note. Has seized the moment and established himself as a new leader. Did... Oh, hang on. Population killed three. Walls damaged one. Towers damaged five. It's tragic such a... Huh. That was... Uh, yeah, I think my leader died in the... F it doesn't say anywhere that he did, but... I'm assuming you did. Some walls or towers here are damaged. The towns will work hard to fix these and repair two per turn. Okay. So they'll they'll try to repair it. So that that sucked. But I mean, a natural that was my first natural disaster, so not the end of the world. Two more turns and one more turn for this place. So let's 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 look at this place while we're going. Power. Chariot. Stables, gentlemen ride chariots. Uh, yeah, let's go with that. More farming means more growth, means more money, means more growth. So this one should bloop up to a larger size. Uh, it's pulsating. The orange glow indicates that there is significant unrest here. Ha, ooh, ooh, ooh. noble unrest. All right. Having more settlements than your authority rating. Oh, new new person. So monastery, that's too pricey. Legendary shrine, that's too pricey. Okay, that'll help a little. Cost me a lot of that money, and it'll help a little bit. Um. So it doesn't look like the area of influence expanded. Did it not finish construction? It's got a palace. Huh. Maybe would stationing more military units do it? Well, wait, we got our... Hang on, we... What if we moved our leader over there? Would he help with that situation? Like, hey! Whoop! Hopefully we can deal with this situation quickly. It definitely looks bigger. I see a big building in the middle. It's gonna be four turns to construct that thing and knock down the noble unrest. Well, what? you know what we could do? For starters. Ooh! Achievement unlocked. Miner. Upgrade a copper mine, a gold, or jade scrape to a mine. Oh, you know what? I think what I had done, I think I upgraded this. So I think that was already one, the, the scrape, and I upgraded it to a mine. Okay. I'm cool with that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's definitely what happened. And unrest is high. Well, it was 72% before. Oh, you know what? Yeah, that's that's what happened. It, I think it was mostly just people getting upset uh, because of the change. Look at, yeah, my authority plummeted. That's what happened. All right, send send the uh, the the leader over. Oh, per the last two leaders, one died just of old age, one died in a fire. That's awful. Alright, that seems to have quelled it a little bit. Okay. Might be... Um, this settlement may be upgraded again still? Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay. What if we... I mean, we do have some money now. We could build a building. So market would upgrade as an upgrade. Pottery workshop produces ceramics for trade. Let's build a pottery workshop and see how that does. Ooh, next thing on my list after the pottery workshop, the armorer. Yes, let's do that. Let's let's definitely do that. I'm not super concerned about my enemy right now, Chu. I I know I saw enemy uh you know, you know the other people's forces marching down there. It looks like did they Ooh, they're getting bigger. Chu is growing larger, but you know, they're getting hit as well. All right, did one more turn and then that's done. And then we'll be fine. Another farm finish in Shengzhou. Zhou, Zhou, Zhou. So we got to, we can up, keep upgrading. Yeah, let's let's keep that up. Put two on the list. Growth of zero percent, but yeah, we're upgrading and building new ones, so that's fine. Growth of zero percent. We should probably make sure this continues. So keep farming. Same thing here. Let's queue up more farms. I'm glad that we have money now. That definitely makes things a little bit easier. Now I'm just instead of sitting there for 20 turns going, okay, need money, need money, need money. It's just a couple turns, and then I can build something. Gotta spend money to make money. All right, so we should be plenty happy here now. Good. So let's go ahead and grab him again. I don't know if he actually made any difference, but I think he did. Move him back here to the capital. Uh, pottery workshop was one more turn. So right now the income's 190. Let's cycle a turn and see what it jumps to for the trade good. Wonder if the market could tra could trade with un uh, uh, cities further away. That'd be cool. Or maybe if I build one over here, they will connect. Possibly. I do not know. 231. Yeah, that was that was good. All right, let's take a look at something. Uh, requires from further afield, increasing the distance that trade may be, may be conducted. 18 hexes. Yeah, that's good. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Well, that's like 12 away. But, you know, it's going over the mountains. So I think we could probably get there through the mountains with 18. Oh, and I'm only one. I'm only a ducket away. Because that... Tech warning. That would, uh, if I could trade with my other city, that would be a huge boon for me. Authority by two, increase virtue of all new characters, yes. Yes, for certain. Oh, was there another one? Oh, there was. Oh, high tin bronze, I guess that's what we're doing. Settling in uh, another city would be something on my list of things to do as well. And then if I if I settle something over here or over here, then I can build a bazaar here and get all the trade connected together. Boo. Yeah, I know there's edicts. I'm just not interested in them right now. Or the armor. Bronze for trade. This one. We said we're going to do it. I also said we we're going to do the other thing, but yeah, th <laughs> things change. Yeah, we, we, we increased the size of the city. We got this nice little palace in the middle now, rather than just a little assemblage of buildings. I'd like to increase the size of um, Fang Jing as well, but we need to get those, you know, more irrigated farms up and whatnot. 
Yeah, so just building in that land definitely increases your sphere of influence. So that's good to know. Oh, God. Population killed, seven. Unrest, peasants, five. Nobles, five. Army efficiency reduced by t uh, 10%. So our leader died again. It's not giving me notification of his death, though. It's just telling me that someone new with an authority of minus nine. Oh, man. That's bad. At least I have some culture in my nation. So I moved him. So a fire broke out in one state. I was like, we got to get out of here. And then a disease broke out in the next one and killed my leader. Why? I'm not sure why it's not, no like, when the guy died of natural causes, it notified me. But now it's just saying, hey, there's a new leader, which definitely means there something had to have happened to the old leader. And... Let's... What do we want to build? Two more turns for that. If I keep the foundry... Okay, three turns for that. Is it three turns after the two turns, or do they do it simultaneously? Like, that's the question. We'll figure, find out. Find out next time on Benjamin Magnus Fumbles Through This Game. Hey! Is that trade connecting through these doodles? I like that. Well, friendly. So let's take a look. Yep. It was these ones, and then that one. And then when that finishes, hopefully, the last city will be connected. Um, and then this will be more important. So yeah, so let's get the jade going. Because we'll theoretically connect trade. Trade multiplier times three instead of times two. I think that's going to help out a lot. Fraternal Harmony Pack. Yes. To the Chin people. Power. Merchant. Have 1,000 gold per turn from trade. Cool. Oh, and we got the Terrace Gentle uh, uh, gentle Hills and Terrace on Steep Hills as well. So we finished that up. Increase farm production by 5% by brick-faced wells. Yep. Do it. Yep, look at that. Connected. Boo. Booyah. Beautiful. Alright, now what we're going to do is we're going to come here. Go here. Civilians. Recruit. Got to pay for him. And I'm thinking up here, like, over here would be huge amounts of food. But I really want that rhinoceros skin. So let's, uh, tell him to go north. Now that I have an income, it's nice to be able to build stuff and actually... Actually do something, rather, you know, on my turns, rather than just waiting for the, the money to accrue. 350. Construction stalled in Fangjing. Cannot begin as insufficient funds were available. Oh, okay. I thought it took it out of my out of my pocket the second it was Okay, that's fine. That's fine. All right, keep heading north. Rhino, is he access to the rhino skin and more copper? I would be definitely on board with. One more turn and then I get jade. That'll be added to the trade route. F oh, wow, 50. Fengjin can almost upgrade now. And they should be able to start construction here, right? Foundry. Built. Okay, there we go. Huh. 
Huh. That's a big city. Max of 80. Okay, so it'll still grow for a while. And then it'll probably need to be upgraded again, but hopefully we can upgrade the capital soon. That's what I want to do. Jade Scrape. Yep, that increased. So now, let's take a look at trade. Taxes. Mining. Okay, so I'm assuming that means that Feng Jing is going to get the benefit of the trade here. Local specialties, copper, ceramics. Local specialties, copper, ceramics. Local specialties, copper, ceramics. No, it's not. It doesn't look like Jade's being moved out. Maybe it needs a turn? Ooh, horse riding. That's good. Horse archers, gentlemen horses. But I think I'd like to... F uh, flaming rocks and flaming arrows. Flaming pitch. Ooh, I like that. I definitely like that. Oh, stack without orders. Uh, okay. Let's get across the river. Let's see what's up there. I'm thinking over here somewhere, that would definitely let me allow me to get the rhinos still. It wouldn't let me give me access to the copper, but maybe there's something else over here. This valley is mine! Damn it. It looks like I'm going to be able to get the mulberries soon. I'm touching them. I'm touching your mulberries. Oh, wow. A quake. One. Ru. Ruo. So it didn't hit me. It hit my enemy and the guy in, in the... The weight D. Hostile. Enemy. Okay, well... Yeah, I, under I understand that. I'm a little hostile to you myself. Oh, and now we can do uh, terraced farms in these areas. That's that's cool. Allows me more area to farm. And this city's definitely growing. And this city's just... Is, I, I got plenty of stuff for these guys to do. Here, let's uh, go ahead and do the terraced farms down there. That'll help out over here, too. Let's go ahead and do that. And it's the peasants are a little unhappy here. How much is this? Jade Quarry. 2,000. But what I want to do here is get the do the bazaar and see how that works. So let's build that. Because, oh, and then let's go back here, check on this. Because I'm not seeing any jade being actually traded. So I'm thinking if you're producing a trade good, you have to have the bazaar there to actually trade it, uh, you know, out, out and about. Like... Yeah, it's, it's telling me that I should come up here and do this, but I'm also like, eh, I really want those rhinos and that copper. I do, do definitely want all that stuff. And I'm bummed I can't reach that gold. I feel like it's, it feels like it's within reach. It's one, let's see. It is one, two, three, four, five. It's six away. This one is... One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Oh, those are only four. Uh, okay. Foundry constructed. Yay! So now bronze. Yes. I like that. Four hundred. Yeah, my capital is definitely producing. A lot. So I'm producing bronze now. Which is great. The barracks allows... Requires a palace. Okay. Four trained army recruitment pull. Add four to the trained army recruitment. Train dagger axemen, trained archers. Instead of peasants. Weapon smith. Okay, so yeah, that's all good stuff. Pretty happy with that. What did the... What does the earth wall cost? 2,000. 
Okay. We're doing pretty good, but I think we're just about, yeah, we're a little over on time, actually. So thank you for watching, everybody. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you've enjoyed the series, and I'll see all of you next time.